Welcome to .NET Programming in C Sharp. I'm Brian Max, and I'm going to be guiding you through the wonderful world of C Sharp programming and .NET programming. Now, we're going to be exploring quite a lot in C Sharp the language. We're going to be talking about a lot of different ways to work with data, to work with forms, to work with web applications and web services and things like that. And we're going to be doing some exciting things in .NET and C Sharp. I just want to give you a little introduction to what you can do with C Sharp. C Sharp is a language that can replace other languages that you are familiar with, like Visual Basic, Visual Basic.net, also Java, and other languages, C++. It's really made to work with the .NET framework from Microsoft. Normally, you're used to working with data, like Master Detail Data. You can work with data with ease within .NET using ADO.NET and other means. XML is also quite exciting in .NET. As you can see, we have a master detail relationship here. We're going to explore data, as well as other ways you can work with C Sharp in applications, Windows applications, and also working with the web and intranets. Now, I've done a lot with intranets and data grids. And as you can see here, the C Sharp in .NET makes it very easy to actually embed data within a browser, and it's quite exciting to be able to do that. You can see that if we view the source here, we're actually dealing with HTML. If you just scroll through the source, this is using a third-party control, and .NET is really great for working with third-party controls. We effectively can go right back to the database and have the control itself update and show information that's going to be updated in the database. We could even make changes, and it looks like you haven't gone anywhere. So there are a lot of quite exciting ways to work in the .NET framework, and this is ASP.NET specifically. You can work with Visual Studio .NET 2003, 2002. You can use the command line compiler many different ways. As you can see, we have the source code right here in our Solution Explorer, and we're going to explore details of working with data and working with ASP.NET and other ways of working within C Sharp in the .NET world. We're going to be getting into great details about the language itself, object-oriented programming, and some interesting other ways that we can work with .NET in general. You can embed the Internet Explorer ActiveX control right within your applications, and you can do some quite exciting things, like browsing within an application. You can also work with automation to control the Internet Explorer. If we wanted to add bars here, menu bars and status bars, we could do that. Here we are opening up a website that also works in several ways with ASP.NET. You'll note the ASPX file extension there. This particular website has the ability to load data, particularly audio files from a database, as well as video that's loaded from a database as well, and different parts of a Flash application that actually can be controlled by storing this information in a database, which is a lot more secure than just having it out on your site for people to download and use as they wish in ways that would violate your copyright. So I'm into doing a lot of multimedia type work within C Sharp and also with Flash and connectivity. This is really where we're moving forward and it's going to be quite great to see the new operating system for Microsoft Longhorn and some of the effects that are going to be added to Windows XP as well. You'll note that I like to embed things into right into my applications and this is actually a Flash site that's embedded. We're going to take a look at how to do this and it gives you a lot of control being able to work with a lot of multimedia elements and doing quite a lot of different things, including working with Windows Media or what have you. It's quite exciting to be able to do this. And we're going to explore many ways to stop and play and control our Flash. And do some quite exciting things. So if you're not ready, let's get ready and let's get started and jump into C Sharp and the wonderful world of .NET programming.